Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting 90 grain Nossler ballistic tips in 243 Winchester. And here is your box for that Nossler ammunition 90 grain ballistic tip ammo in 243 Winchester. Flipping it around to the back, here's some promo information. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like. It's meant for hunting. It says that specifically right here. It's got outlines of what looks like a mule deer pronghorn, hog, and whitetail, so that's sort of the intended game. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ballistics chart. There is not a barrel length listed, but the muzzle velocity is stated at 3,100 feet per second. We will see how close we get to that. We will be shooting this from a 20-inch barreled Winchester Model 70 compact, which I think is appropriate for the 243. There is a lot of youth and compact rifles out there chambered in 243. A lot of people deer hunt with compact 243, so I think it is appropriate. We'll see how close we get to that 3,100 feet per second. But let's go ahead and pull the stuff out and take a look and here it is let's pull one out and there is your Nossler ballistic tip it's got a purple tip on there let's go shoot it and see how it does and real quick if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out I'm having a huge sale on my website masonleather.com go check it out and get yourself something and my test rifle today is my Winchester model 70 featherweight compact chambered in 243 Winchester of course it's got a 20 inch barrel up top I've got a Leopold FX2 six power scope and coming on back I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs I've got 243 stamped right in it check out my website masonleather.com it will be linked in the description and the pinned comment I would absolutely absolutely love to make you one and coming over the other side I've got my white tail deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that Nossler Ballistic Tip 90 grain load out of the 243. Minimum 2821, maximum 2871, average 2848. And we are down at the blocks after shooting that Nossler Ballistic Tip 90 grain stuff out of the 243. And we did capture all three bullets. This block is a little bit dark colored, it's tough to see. We've got two right here at 19 and 19 and a half inches, and then a third bullet right here at 22 inches. From this angle you can kind of see them a little bit better. The light is going in the block and reflecting off of them. You can see them there and right there. Regardless, we'll dig them out and take a look here in a second. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot left of those bullets though. Coming back to the first block, these things are just nasty. I think most of the bullet weight is left up here in little bits and pieces. So they go in about the one inch mark, they open up, deliver a big old punch, and then they start tapering off seven, eight, nine inches and then whatever's left of them penetrates on back. So let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look. All right, y'all, we've dug the bullets out of the block. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Those Nossler Ballistic Tip 90 grains out of the 243 weight retention, 36 grains, 52 grains, 56 grains for an average of 48 grains retained weight. That works out to 53% weight retention. And notice the bullet in the photo on the left, we did have complete jacket core separation, but I'm not mad at it because this is a Nossler Ballistic Tip. It's not supposed to hold together. It is what it is. I'm honestly surprised the other two held together as well as they did. Expansion, we saw 0 0.48, 0 0.53, and 0.56 inches for an average of 0.52 inches expanded diameter. And that works out to 2.2x expansion. That's over that 2x mark I like to see for your standard hunting loads. Pretty darn good. And again, these are Nossler ballistic tips. They're meant to break up quite a bit. So as far as expansion goes, remember that a good chunk of each one of these bullets is no longer even present. They shrapneled off and tore a bunch of stuff up. Velocity wise, our high velocity was 2871. Our low was 2821 for an average of 2848 versus the factory build velocity of 3,100 feet per second. So we came in 252 feet per second slow. That is really slow, y'all. 
Yes, I'm using a 20 inch barrel. If you got a 24, 22, whatever, you're gonna see higher velocity. But compared to all the other ammo that I've tested, this is definitely on the slower end of 243 ammo. It's underloaded, I don't know what the deal is, but 252 feet per second, you ain't making that up with four inches of barrel, not by a long shot. What I've seen more often is 150 to 200 feet per second slow out of my Model 70 with a 20 inch barrel. This being over 50 feet per second beyond the high end of that is kind of inexcusable. But it's the last thing I'm worried about. Just more info for y'all. Make of it what you will. Regardless of the velocity, the bullets performed pretty well. And our estimated impact velocity down there at 100 yards is about 2,563 feet per second. Penetration wise, for a ballistic tip, these penetrated pretty darn good. The chunks of bullets that remained, 19 inches, 19 and a half inches, and 22 inches, for an average of right at about 20 inches of penetration, that's what I like to see, pleasantly surprised. I can't fault it. And kinetic energy wise, with a 90 grain bullet going on average 2,848 feet per second, we're looking at 1,621 foot-pounds at the muzzle and about 1,313 foot-pounds down there at 100 yards. So it is on the weaker end of a lot of the 243 medium game loads that I've tested. And that's a direct result of that pretty sad velocity. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks, y'all. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on this Nosler Ballistic Tip 90 grain load out of the 243. It kind of hit all the marks for me. Weight retention was honestly higher than I expected. It's a ballistic tip bullet. I expect most of it to break up. Expansion was pretty good for the chunks of bullet that remained. Granted, a lot of each one of the bullets is gone and lost and shrapneled out, which is what they're designed to do. Penetration was really good, especially for what these bullets are, right at 20 inches on average. The one dig I have on this ammo is the, the sad velocity, 252 feet per second slow on average. Um, I mean, put a few more grains of powder in it, whatever you got to do. I'm not sure what the deal is, but it's not performing up to a lot of other competitors. But nevertheless, the bullet still performed pretty good in my estimation. Now, what would I use this stuff for? Well, honestly, I think there's some better options if I were to be hunting deer, pronghorn, stuff like that out of a 243. But I think it would definitely get the job done. I think if you were looking for something that was sort of a combo of a, you know, lighter medium game and a varmint load, this might be the ticket for you. Although I'd like to see that bullet going a little faster to give me a little flatter trajectory. If you've used this load on game, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.